Welcome to video number 23 of my series on the foundations of arithmetic, algebra, and graphing. I'm Bill Kinney. This is part two of a sub-series on decimals, real numbers, and percentages with an emphasis on calculator usage. And in this video, we're going to focus on starting to use calculators, uh, thinking more about converting sp certain special fractions to decimal form and doing, thinking about what that means without a calculator and how to do it on a calculator. So the, and I think we'll probably try to get in the concept of a percentage too along the way. In the last video, we talked about place value, 3,764.17. Can be thought of this way, based on the places. Those places represent powers of 10. Over here they're multiples of a 10 and over here they're fractions involving 10 and 1 is sort of a special special thing. And we saw also that um, based on that we could easily convert these fractions, these rational numbers, 1 tenth, 1 one hundredth, 1 thousandth, 1 ten thousandth into decimal form. Let me say a brief word about percentages in this con in this um, situation, and, and we'll think about it in the context two examples up here. Now, what is one tenth of a dollar? Hopefully, you all know it's ten cents. It's a dime. Point one does represent one tenth, and point one or point one zero is the way we represent ten cents if we use a dollar symbol. That'll represent point one dollars, which is the same thing as ten cents. 1 one-hundredth is 0 0.01, which is a penny, which is one cent, which, you know, there are, there are 10 dimes that are, are needed to make up a dollar, and it takes 100 pennies to make up a dollar. We also can think of this in terms of percentages. The word percent, percent, means per cent, where cent essentially is uh, 100 per 100. So certainly 1 one hundredth is the same as 1 percent, and here's the way we write it. There's our percent sign. 1 one hundredth is 1 percent, 1 per 100. 1 tenth is the same as 10 over 100, and therefore that's 10 percent. There's the fundamental thing I want you to know about percent here initially is that it's per 100. That's where the word comes from. Therefore, 1 one hundredth is 1% because it's 1 per 100. And 1 tenth, since it's 10 out of 100, is the same thing as 10%. Effectively, when you've got the decimal representations of these numbers, you can move the decimal spot, the decimal, two places to the right and then put a percent sign to do the conversion. What about some other fractions? What about some other rational numbers? How do they convert to decimals? Well, one half is certainly a common example to think about. Think about it first intuitively in terms of money. What's half of a dollar? That's 50 cents. How would you write that as a decimal? In terms of the dollar symbol, you'd write it as 0.5 dollars or 0 0.50 dollars. In terms of the cent symbol, you'd dispense with the point and you'd just write that. But but why? Is there what's the reason for that? Well, if you think about one way to think about it is that um, what does that this mean? This is five tenths. If I just focus on the 0.5 there, five tenths. It's five times one tenth. And if you think about fraction multiplication, the 5 cancels with the 10 to give you a half. Another way to think about it is to say, well, I know what 10 divided by 2 is. 10 halves is 10 divided by 2. I know that that's 5. And I know that 1 half is 1 tenth times 10 divided by 2. You don't normally think of it that way, but that's certainly true, right? Because the tens will cancel, divide out. 
to leave you with one half. But that's a five. This is the same as by the commutative property, five times one tenth, which in our decimal system we represent as 0.5 or 0 0.5 or 0 0.50. There's another way to see it. How about a fourth? Or a quarter for short. One half is a half, like a half dollar. One fourth is a quarter, as in 25 cents. If this was money, you could write it this way or this way. Focus on this way. Why is that the case? Well, if you, again, two ways to think about it. If you focus on the decimal there, what does it mean? It means 2 times 1 tenth plus 5 times 1 hundredth. If you simplify that, doing the multiplications first, 2 times 1 tenth is 1 fifth. 5 times 1 hundredth is 1 twentieth. 5 goes into 120 times. And if you add those fractions by getting a common denominator of 20, you get 5 twentieths, which reduces to 1 fourth. That's one way to see it. Here's another way. 100 over 4 is 25, because 100 divided by 4 is 25. And 1 fourth could be thought of as 1 one hundredth times 100 over 4, because the hundreds will divide out. And this again is 25. <clears throat> so this is 25 times 1 one hundredth. Now I haven't talked about, I'm just going to go ahead and jump ahead and write this down as 0.25. I haven't talked about sort of, I, I could split this up in like this up here. But I will just jump from here to here by saying, you know, the nor one way of saying that number is to say that's 25 hundredths, hundredths. So I could do this, but I'm going to make the, the jump right away and say and call that 25 hundredths as my justification for another reason why one fourth is 0.25. Why don't you think about a couple on your own now? See if you can figure out, without a calculator, the decimal form of one-eighth. Here's like that, one-eighth and one-sixteenth. Pause the video, figure those out, then come back. I'll be back now. All right, here's what you should have gotten. 0.125 for 1 8th, and of course you can't have 12.5 cents, but that is the decimal form of 1 8th. 125 thousandths is the way to think of that or to say it. And 1 16th, a little trickier, is going to be 0 0.0625. In the language of tenths and hundredths and thousandths, you would call that 625 ten thousandths, actually. That's the one spot, excuse me, tenth spot, hundredth spot, thousandth spot, ten thousandth spot. So this is 625 ten thousandths. How do you get these things on a calculator? Here's a graph and calculator. Try to get rid of that glare the best I can. Let's do the 1 16th. You just do, do a division. Do 1 divided by, here's my division symbol, divided by 16. I'm going to type 1 16. You'll see it up in the window up there at the top. Enter, and you see a point zero six two five. So you can actually see your entire calculation on a graph and graphing calculator. What if it's not a graphing calculator? I've got one, non one here. It's up closer here. I have to figure out the best way to do this. Turn it on. A little bit 
blurry there. Go down. I've got one, and then I do a divide by 16. The one is going to disappear after I type in 16. Now hit equal. There we go, 0 0.0625. It puts more zeros in this particular calculator because I've got it set to eight decimal places. Eight places after the decimal. Anyway, that's a couple different calculators showing you how to calculate 1 16th as 0 0.0625. And I'll stop this video there.